Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Philip Pagliuso. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we're self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is even better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's check out some cool art. I like this artist because of this image. I like the cow. <laughs> He's very cool. Yeah, I, I was definitely drawn to this artist from this cow image. Like, I was like, tell me no more. The cow is enough. The cow is all I need. I love the character. There's so much character in the cow, but in the guy on top as well. Just his, his pose, his expression, all of it. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of expressiveness in uh, the posing and expressions of these characters. I believe this guy does art for cards. Yeah, it says Wizards of the Coast down here, is, which is who makes Magic of the Gathering. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. So I think a lot of this is professional magic card of the art. Magic of the Gathering. <laughs> Wizards of the Coast, <laughs> Magic of the Gathering. I was reading it at the same time. But yeah, these are awesome. I really like these. I so, think card art is cool because it has to be very readable yeah. from a very shrunk perspective, True. but it also, you know, carries so much like detail and interest. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm loving these. I you and you know this. I'm a sucker for cards. I love cards. Oh, I know. And cards with cool art are even better. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this one. It looks like a bunch of garbage being collected uh, and c controlled by like a ghost or something. I thought yeah. this one was cool too. I like the strident oranges and reds in it a lot. Oh, do you do you tend to like lean towards a specific color direction? Do you go more cool or warm with your colors? Hmm, that's I, a good question. I think warm. I was gonna say, I feel like I go warm more often as well. But I so. think that has to do with the fact that we've been drawing lots of people mm. and people tend to be a warm subject. That might be true, but I, I tend to like warmer colors more. I mean, I, I don't know. That's something I need to ponder on a little mm -hmm, more. See, mm -hmm. see if there's uh, one way or another that I'm leaning in particular. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I love how expressive these are. I also really love the splashes of color, like randomly in like the rat's fur here. Mm. I've noticed that he does that on a lot of his art. Right, it's almost like a finishing touch that really adds a lot to each piece. That's something that I really like to try to do in my art. I obviously do not have quite the expert hand that this artist does though. This guy is so crazy too. Like where is this idea from? Like, yeah, a cat stealing milk, but an anthropomorphic cat stealing Stealing jar like bottles of milk from, from a carnival. From a car yeah. Like who has these ideas? And he's wearing a ball cap. I some people with like a bunch of motion capture dots on it or something. Yeah. Like I I don't know. People's creativity astounds me. I just where people's brains are and where they go is just incredible. Yeah. I I am so excited and I, I've talked about this before, but like with this piece and a lot of these artworks is like there's a clear mastery of their art form and now they're able to explore so many different ideas. Obviously they're working on card art here, so they're probably given a prompt, and then they, typically what people do is they'll give like a few iterations, like sketches, and then they'll develop on the idea that they pick even more mm. with like some feedback, mm -hmm. which, ah oh man, like, I, I bet they have so many, like, I, I know you don't have any sketches here, but I bet they have, like, so many off-the-wall crazy oh ideas. Oh my gosh, yeah, to just always be generating. I like the pig in this one for some <laughs> reason. I think that adds a lot of interest to this picture. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for, um, like, getting to a point where, you know, we're a lot more confident with our art and what we're doing to where we can explore a lot of different ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. yeah, that would be really fun to be able to take any idea and make it into, like, a, a, a take your vision and put it on paper or, or, iPad. or just like have multiple ideas and be able to you know concept something out by the way i love the witch in the background here so much story this, here the flowers this on is the game sphere. of thrones for sure i believe the... that these are the baratheons and then this is the the witch who's like obsessed with oh, the light yeah, the or scarlet which it's been so long I'm, but I'm, yeah i can't remember i could very well melisandre be. I believe oh yeah, yeah 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 also, why is this woman stealing Russian dolls and why is an octopus stopping her? She looks like she thinks she's gonna get away with it if it weren't for these interfering octopus tentacles. Guns don't kill people, octopi do. <laughs> this lady's like, is super ecstatic to have burnt this she's, place yeah, down. She's actually probably a little too excited, I would say. Yeah. yeah this a, this is an appropriate this. level of excitement for burning a building down. Yeah, you're and like, then, I got revenge on people that wronged my family. <laughs> 
This guy likes to line things up. Again, we have the motif of tentacles in the background. You wouldn't understand. You, I guess you wouldn't. not. Um, but there they are. This <laughs> world, there's tentacles. He reminds me of the guy from the Twilight Zone that breaks his glasses at the end that always wants to read. Oh, yeah. Oh, Somebody yeah. brought that up the other day, and I, I've been thinking about the Twilight Zone a lot. And this is the last image I collected from this guy. He's this guy begging his wife not to steal his Russian dolls. Oh, I, you're <laughs> like, that's enough. Uh, the plot line has come to fruition now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want that plot line to come to fruition, click that like and subscribe button. Share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Ben. I want... A pet octopus is what I've learned from this artist. I've learned that if we ever divorce, I'm taking the Russian dolls with me. Mm. We don't have you any can have them. Russian dolls. They're all yours. I'm taking the the Pikmin bud vase.